what is going on? It is 7.30 a.m. in the morning. We are heading to the workplace, but today we have to set a goal, and that is to figure out exactly what is wrong with this dip. As you saw, I posted the video up last night, and people were like, dude, that is not good. And it may be, you know, something a little more than just not having dip fluid in there. If that's a problem, I shouldn't even be driving this car right now, but it's my only car. So my cheeks are clenched and we are on the way to work. That's a pothole. Woo! Bilstein suspension coming in clutch. We are heading to work right now. On my lunch break, we are going to head over to AutoZone, grab some 75W90 gear oil, I believe, just to fill it up and see it if that fixes the issue. So, bear with me guys on this Friday workday. Hope everyone had and is having a fantastic day. I will see you all during lunch. One eternity later. It is lunchtime, baby. We are heading to the local auto parts store. I believe it is AutoZone. Hopefully they will have what I need. Essentially what I need is 75W90 gear oil, I believe. Shifting with my left hand here. I believe and possibly a pump and i believe i have everything else that i need possibly a pump i think i would be able to mock something up that i wouldn't need to buy a pump but we will see what kind of price a pump is at the auto parts store so let's get to it all right so it's actually advanced auto parts so let's hop in there Right, guys it was 38 bucks i got the pump it was only 10 bucks it goes on top of the uh quart the one quart bottle i got two quarts of the mobile one synthetic gear lubricant now i did just go with mobile one because we're not you know gonna be running this for too long because i'm gonna have to do a full diff oil change anyway once i redo the seal i'm gonna change a diff oil and i will probably go with the oem audi diff oil or redline i believe it's called or something that's a little more reputable for us Audi guys, even though Mobile One is pretty good. And I also got some free towels because I spent over 30 bucks. So hey, can't beat that. All right, boys, it looks like it's go time. If I do say so myself, let's climb on under there and see what we got going on. All right, guys, I have a flashlight in one hand and the camera in my other, but right here, right up there is the drain plug covered in all of this crap, <clears throat> all this leaking oil and crap. So I'm gonna clean that up and then hopefully take that out. I believe it's a 10 millimeter hex, if I am not mistaken. So we're gonna go and do that right now and hope for the best. That broke loose pretty, pretty easy. Really easy, actually. Let me see if I can just take it off of my hand now. All right, there we are. All right, guys, so here we have our Mobile One Synthetic Gear Lubricant. 75w90 and as i said i will go with the red line when i do in fact change the seal out this is solely just to see if this is the problem which is low diff fluid of course it will work it is api gl5 which is what we need in the rear end so i'm going to take the top off of this now here is our quart and gallon fluid pump all you do as you can see has a screw on lid right here screw it on and then you can pump it right into the diff which is in a hard to get area which is really why we need this you can see it has this tubing you can fish it on up there put it in the diff and start pumping okay, i always try to open things somewhat nicely so i can put it back in its original case for next time's use then we can pump as you can see let's go get our bottle it's gonna screw it on here i think we're ready fingers crossed let's see what happens now i want you guys to remember one very important thing when you do this and you do the job the right way and you do it for good and not just a test like I'm doing to see if it's the problem, you want to make sure that you have the car equal on all four jack stands so the car is perfectly level across 
because if you have it either you know facing back or forward then some fluid is either going to be forward or back in the diff and you're going to either over or under fill it usually overfill it because what we're going to do is when you fill the diff you have that little hole where you put the tube through to pump it in you're filling the diff up until you start seeing oil up to that hole. So that's what we're gonna do. Remember guys, if you are doing this at home, make sure you have your car perfectly level across. When I do this after the seal job, I'm gonna have the car at four jack stands, perfectly level. Let's do it. All right guys, so it needed, at the least, it needed a quart. I put a full quart in there. Now it's not full to the bottom of the fill hole, I'm pretty sure it's close, but keep in mind the car is facing downward, so some of the diff fluid could be forward. I'm gonna put the diff fluid fill hole plug back in, and we're gonna take it for a ride and see if the sound is still there, or maybe if it just quieted down a little bit. Let's do it. All right, well, that did not work. It is still loud as hell. So, um, yeah. I'm gonna check a couple other things and then try one more thing and see if that changes it. So, let's get to that. I'm a little uh, little bummed out that that didn't do it. I, I almost thought it might, you know, that might be the issue that I was low on diff fluid. I pulled a, put a full cord in and here we are still having issues. So, as you can see, that pump made a mess. So, let's try the next thing. All right guys, so I added a quart of diff fluid. That did not work, obviously, as you saw from the video. And I actually even changed my tires to my other set, my B6 wheels, just to see if, you know, just to get that out of my head. I really know that that's, it's not the tires and it's not. Two other things I'm gonna check, probably gonna check the flange and I'm going to kind of wiggle the drive shaft to see if the center bearing maybe is going out. And if that's not it, I know a couple people were commenting that it's the wheel bearing. And the only reason why I thought that that might not be it is because I have just zero play at all. Zero play when I jack the car up and try to wiggle the, wiggle the tires around. It is as tight as can be, zero play there. But uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe it is the wheel bearing, but uh, yeah, I'll make sure to keep you guys updated. I'm going to crawl under there and just check everything again. Uh, including the center bearing and the flange to see if anything, you know, anything's loose. I did put some pressure on the diff and everything was tight, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe, you know, a hub or spindle or something's bad. Um, hey, man, it happens. That's all the fun of owning this car. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure to comment below. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next video.